So very good morning and welcome back to the channel. It's quarter past six this morning. I hope you can see me in the light. It's uh, sunrise in half an hour, so we've still not got any great light on the scene. I've got my light on the camera, so hopefully I am getting illuminated. And as you can see, we have a beautiful, beautiful misty start to the day. The mist hovering across the fields, drifting through the trees. Absolutely, as you can see on the water here, absolutely super still. It's just like a mill pond. So the aim of this morning is to get some of those misty, moody, ethereal, magical, atmospheric shots. Hoping to use the mirror-like reflections on the tarn to capture my my favourite silver birch tree, which you've now seen probably about three times in previous vlogs. But to be honest, with it being the Easter bank holiday weekend and with the stay at home restrictions having been lifted and whilst the government's advice is stay local, um, you are allowed to travel anywhere in the UK and I have looked at different options as to where to go this weekend but having seen Friday the bank holiday crowds and hordes and masses descend upon the national parks and the beaches and the towns and the cities, I really didn't fancy mingling with all those hundreds if not thousands of people in the various locations so after all the debating as to whether to go to the Peak District or to the Lake District uh, to go into Manchester City Centre for some street photography and some urban landscape shots I decided after all that to stay at home to stay local and to continue shooting in an environment where I know the compositions I know the area I've familiarised myself with this place before so I know the shots that I want to take and it's all about having the right conditions and returning when you do get the right conditions and today that is the time that's the moment I've got those conditions like I say I've got the mist drifting across the water through the trees in the fields so providing that uh, separation from the further landscape so yeah that's my aim this morning get some lovely woodland and tree photography shots as i say sunrise is in about half an hour uh, but it is looking quite overcast i think the sun will eventually break through at some point later today but i think for this morning i'm going to have to settle for some of those more atmospheric type shots i don't think we're going to get any of the sunbeams breaking through and those beautiful arcs of light coming through the trees but we'll see what happens anyway um I'm just going to turn the camera around because this is so disappointing. So stay at home restrictions have been lifted. And as I said before, people have gone out into the countryside, into the national parks, into the towns and cities. I know Manchester city centre was awash with litter after a impromptu rave was started in the Castlefield area. Um, but this, as you know, this is just a little nature reserve, very close to home. Uh, my house is literally a couple of kilometres that way, very, very close to home. Um, it's a popular place for walkers and for people to come out and enjoy the countryside. But just look at this. This is absolutely appalling. So this is when I absolutely despair with humanity. The human race can go and do one, to be honest. It's absolutely despicable. Look at this mess here. Obviously come out for a few beers, brought a picnic, brought it in a bag, brought all the stuff with them, and then just absolutely ruined the landscape, littered the area, left everything. Absolutely despicable. Words really do fail me, and it's not often you'll see me have a rant but this beautiful area of natural countryside and landscape and people come and do this. Beautiful and still, it's absolutely dead pond here this morning. 
reflections are just mirror-like. And the first image that I'm going for this morning is a landscape. I'm catching my favourite silver birch tree on the thirds line running down the left hand side. I've gone for my I've gone for the shoreline right across the centre and then get those mirror light reflections. It's so still, it's absolutely beautiful. It's gorgeous. So if we move along the shore just a little bit, you can see how still the water is, how absolutely dead calm that pond is, affording those absolutely stunning reflections. So I'm going to set the camera up and take a portrait orientation and get that reflection shot that I missed last time I was here due to the ripples. So with this image, I started off with the tripod much lower down, which was proving difficult to get the portrait orientation shot and get the whole of the tree lined up from top to bottom. So I've lifted the tripod higher We've now got that scene in the frame. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. It is. It's abs I think you can see the, the mist across the fields, just layering across the fields. It's absolutely stunning. So I've got the silver birch dead center with the reflection running straight through the middle of the scene. Super, super calm. Like I said, like a mill pond this morning. Settings wise, we are at f5.6, ISO 100, one fifth of a second. Gorgeous. Well, it is now actually sunrise, but there's no sign of the sun yet. So I am hoping it's going to break through. Maybe get some of those light beams, but we'll see. So that's the portrait shot in the bag. Just going to pan round to the left hand side. Take a shot looking across these reeds and rushes towards that group of silver birch, that family gathering of trees over there, which again have got some great separation as you can see on this footage here. Lovely separation with the mist this morning. And the colours are popping in the reeds and the rushes those oranges, those burnt auburns, those rustic colours. So we'll try and get set up and uh, get a composition over here. So I've got as close in as I possibly can now for this group of birch here with the, again, the rustic, the rustic oranges, burnt orange, the colour's really popping on the camera here. Quite different to last time I came out when it was more of a dry brown, sort of that like crunchy, crispy, yellowy brown, but there's definitely some colour popping here. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get the shot. So, ISO 100. Focusing uh, one third of the way into the shot at F11. Uh, I'm 
wide again. I'm at 24 mil. Don't need to be that wide. Now we're going to come in. That's, yeah, we're coming in. That's better. So 35 mil now. Just refocus that. Oops, didn't mean to do that. So just, just refocus that now. Oh, look. It's a deer. Oh, it's just... I've got the wrong lens on. I can do with my 70 to 200. I don't know if you're going to be able to make that out. Oh, he's just sat over there. Oh, come this way, Mr. Deer. Beautiful, just drifted in from the left-hand side out of nowhere. Oh, I wish I'd have got my long lens on for that. Right, okay, so back to the shot. Right, like I said, ISO 100, F11, focused at one third of the way into the shot. Got these lovely colours in the foreground on the rushes and the reeds and the plant life, the, the fauna here. And then my family of silver birch, so we'll take that. So I'm going to call it a day there, that mist has lifted. Not going to get any more moody, ethereal, atmospheric shots today. So just when you thought it was over, that mist has just, I don't know where it's come from, it's just descended again. It's like unreal. So I'm walking back to the car and I'm literally five minutes from the car now and walking past these, this group of three trees here. Can you see those? Yep. Yeah. So I've just got to take a shot of these in the mist with the yellow foliage on the crops and the sunlight just breaking through. I don't know where that mist has come from guys but it's, it's just come out of nowhere. It's just unbelievable. So there are three trees here as you've just seen from that footage. I'm going to photograph each of these because we've got that separation with the mist. From the background there's a farm the other side, there's some more trees the far side which we're going to cut out or they are cut out because of the mist. Um, so we're going for settings ISO 100, we're at F11, focusing a third of the way into the scene which happens to be the base of that tree. We've got the lovely yellows on the foliage of the crops and we've got a dog walker going to walk through the scene in a minute as well. So. I might just catch a M in and add a little bit of scale as well. So here we go. Take that one. And we've caught the dog walker. So that should be quite interesting. Okay, so now we're going to swivel around to the next tree, which again, we've got great separation. So much space around that tree, allowing it to breathe. The mist giving that negative space. So we've got this lovely yellow foliage from the crops 
in the foreground. I'm using the rule of thirds for this particular shot. So the foliage ends on the first line of thirds. We've got the tree on the left hand line of thirds. I can't believe where this mist has come from. It was absolutely. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, I like that. Really like that. Thanks ever so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed the trip this morning. Hope you've enjoyed my visit out on the moss and here on the walk back to the car where we've got these trees dotted around in the crops in the fields and managed to get in isolation three lone tree shots with the mist providing that separation, breathing space and negative space around them to hopefully make some lovely images. The sun's coming out again as you can see. It's so exciting when the when the conditions are like this, it really gets the motivation going again. Like I say, we've had this drab, this dreary, grey, miserable weather. It's been windy, it's been raining, it's been just a shocker really from a photography perspective and getting outside, but on mornings like this, I'm just loving it, absolutely loving it. Ah. Oh. So it might not be the Lake District, it might not be the Peak District, there's not those stunning views and vistas and the the lakes and the tarns and those epic views and scenes but here in the local landscape there's some beautiful images to be taken just need the right conditions and it pays to come back and revisit these locations i know i've talked about it before but come back you know where the compositions are so it's just a question of waiting for that right time to get those uh, those conditions which we have this morning we've got the mist we've got the light We've got the added benefit of these crops and the beautiful yellow foliage which should add so much to the scene so oh yes right I'm gonna go head back across there now guys but yeah it's been a fantastic morning do hope you've enjoyed it like I say my channel aims to inspire you to get outside into nature into the countryside and into the landscape from where hopefully you can take some images and get motivated and excited just like i am this morning to get some uh, photographs along the way so thanks ever so much in so thanks ever so much for watching uh, you take care uh, stay safe and until next time goodbye